Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing and reviewing Transformer Siege, War for Cybertron Chromia. Now she is a deluxe class figure. Here's the side box art, and here she is in package. Now, this one I wasn't too excited about because we actually had, we actually have a lot of good uh, Chromia figures in the, uh, well, actually only, I don't know if it's a lot of them, but we, we have, uh, the, the last Chromia figure was, that I got was the the motorcycle one and I thought that was a very good figure for her but um, we regardless we got one for war for Cybertron and you know um, hopefully we get more to match the design of her here's the back of the box hey right, let's get her unboxed here okay so here's chromia out of the box she comes with these weapon parts this is, I guess, like the main part of her gun. These two smaller pieces. And they're identical. And this long piece, which looks like the end of a barrel. So according to the instructions, all this can be attached together to form one very long barreled pistol. Like this. You can also um, attach these to the 5mm port here, per the instructions. And this can also attach to the main part of the gun in this manner. Personally, I think it's a little unnecessary, but uh, I guess they added that in for play value, but um, I can see these parts getting lost very quickly. Let's put that aside. Get some detail shots of Chromia. All in all, very nice um, figure. Again, with Siege, you get all this nice um, detail on the figure that it would uh, look very awesome when uh, panel lined. So I might get a second one just to do that with her. One thing I'm not fond of, the eyes. Now, it looks as if she has no eyes. and Or there's like some uh, uh, light piping in here. But, you know, there there is none. So, not sure what that's all about. Probably would have been better if the eyes were painted or something. Because it just looks a little hollow. Now she does suffer from that car on her back syndrome. You just flip her over. But I think it's a lot nicer and cleaner than the Power of the Primes one. As you can see, it seems a little more streamlined. But um, they did have to do that because there's that combiner port. Now this figure is really like uh, a remake of this mold. Um, the transformations are so similar, just some minor differences, but it's really basically uh, this redone. Okay, right, let's get on to the articulation. So her head, let's get in focus, is on a ball joint, but it can look all the way up, kind of look down a bit and has 360 degrees of motion the arm while it technically could go 360 degrees it stops right around here because of the wheel she can go up on the shoulder up to here so it's not completely up because of this part and then she can rotate her arm 360 and the bend at the elbows around 90 degrees no wrist articulation um, because the transformation she has to do this now she doesn't really have waist articulation she can it can pivot just a bit and i found that um when i initially tried to do it this thing popped off and it gets a little bit more but not so much because of it hits this area so Let's put this back. Yeah, 
no waist articulation, which is a little disappointing because, you know, it seems like they, they are able to do that with practically all the Siege figure, figures so far. Now, her legs can not really do the split, but it goes about this far. She can kick. Her legs can go this far back, mainly because her car parts are in the way. And the knee bends up to here. Again, I guess you can go further if you move this part, but um, if you leave it where it's transformed, it, it gets blocked. Her feet can go up and down. And she does have some of the side articulation that, so if you wanted to, her to do a wider stance, that's possible. Okay, that is it for articulation. Now let's get her transformed into vehicle mode. Okay, to transform her into vehicle mode, first raise her arms up, turn her head all around. Next, we're going to flip this over, flip her feet back, and bring this down. And then we're going to open this up because they're tabbed into here and bring this part down and at the same time flip the front part of the car out like that. Here's a little bit tricky part. So we're going to put the feet together and then bring the front of the car to align itself with these parts here. So in here, the let's see if I can get a better shot. Yeah, there's a little tab here that's going to go in. And then this needs to go into this slot over here. If I can get them to line up. I think I can. There you go. Okay, they're lined up. Next, we're going to twist the body around. And then we're going to flip her head all the way in to the back of her chest like that next we're gonna flip this part out there you go and then her arm is going to fold back and it's gonna tab into here do it on the other side And then last, we're going to flip her hands in. And there you go, you have her vehicle mode. Very nice Cybertronian sports car. Now, her weapons, we can leave this together like that. And then this can plug right here, like this. And then her gun can go in here and it's complete pretty all in all pretty nice car i like the detail here i love the fact that they painted the the wheels uh, we didn't get that with iron hide um and you know it, it's it's a much better upgrade to this uh figures uh design so that i can appreciate Okay, some detail shots of her vehicle mode. I like how they painted this part. Now the weakest part of this vehicle mode is the back. You see the arms, you see the hands, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, right, let me get her back into robot mode and do some size comparisons. Okay, here is Chromia next to Siege Ironhide and Siege Sideswipe. Now, Siege Ironhide is the largest of the deluxes so far, and I, I think it's a good size. Now, she seems a little bit shorter than Sideswipe, and I think it's just because Sideswipe's uh, body is a little higher, but uh, yeah, she's just a bit shorter than Sideswipe. Now, here she is next to Siege Optimus Prime. And as you can see, Optus Prime towers over her. 
being a Voyager class. And here she is next to um, Siege Ultra Magnus. Let's see if I can get a better shot of all this. There you go. So she's a really good size uh, figure, uh, in my opinion. And here she is next to uh, Legends class figure. Part of me actually wishes the Insecticons were deluxes, but oh well. All in all, a nice figure, a nice addition to the Siege line. She is not my favorite out of all the Wave 2 figures, but... Um, I like the figure nonetheless. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.